There's just something about the miracle of growing things. There is something about the lessons that we learn and the way those lessons shape our lives. As I research more and more about the history of educational systems and institutions, it continues to shape and mold the way we cultivate our own. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Y'all, the amount of hours your friend has been logging researching education as a part of my day has been insane. This year is about growing from the ground up and letting our faith and how we love lead the way. Every time I write up plans for our units or focus for our studies, I begin with a clear objective to guide our goals. This unit's objective was to explore the purpose and importance of growth by observing elements in nature and uncovering the pathways to fruitfulness. To consider the role that good soil plays in productivity and understand our role and responsibility in the process of fruit bearing, seed time, and harvest. It's like peas! What do you mean? It says a few plants e.g. impatient, they explode their seeds out into the world from a pod that bursts open when the seeds are ready. Like peas. Y'all, I've attempted to sit down all in one shot and brainstorm the goals that we have for this gap year. We've tossed up the idea of language study goals, writing goals, maker goals, and so many more. What we ultimately settled on is to continue to allow ourselves room to grow. Hello. And so it's me, Kendall, and I'm about to pick Biggest watermelon. Delicious. Fruit. And I hope we grow another one. Bigger than this. Nice. Is this the biggest watermelon that you've gotten so far? Yup. Cameron snatched it, so I have to chase him. That's what I feel. That's why I out of breath. Well, before we cut it open, I'm gonna put the flower. I think I found it. Yup, this is it. This right here. This is where the watermelon was. Right here. Okay. Now we're gonna go cut it open. All right, let's go. Longwood Gardens is located in Kennett Square, PA. What started out as a simple annual membership for our family is quickly becoming a massive resource and source of inspiration in this next chapter of our story. Surrounding ourselves with things that grow and observing the way they withstand the test of time helps me to consider our path forward. It's like a magical garden of discovery if you are the kind to observe, dig deeper, explore, and as it turns out, we are. <laughs> It is the stewardship for me, the level of care and consideration required to maintain such beautiful grounds full of life is heavenly. The best part of exploring the garden is that we've yet to cover all of the garden grounds. Each time we visit, we head off in a different direction, adding more perspective and discovering the diversity that each changing season brings. Watching them explore the treehouse was so incredibly cute as far as I'm concerned. The way my life would be made if we could just transport Aww. this amazingness <laughs> into our own backyard. Watching them play peekaboo around the window pane was also pure magic.
These images are so special to me. While I spend most of my time behind the camera, it is nice to have photos and videos that sum up nicely how we spend most of our time learning together. Observing, exploring, in conversation, exchanging each other's questions for answers, and a boatload of oohs and ahs. <laughs> for me to keep pressing towards the heart of our goals. In a recent publication from Longwood Gardens blog, there's a piece called The Stories We Tell. Every garden tells a story, it says. It reminded me of the very nature of our purpose-driven homeschool, our gap year, our unschool year, and the simple fact that our goals will be met through the stories that we tell. As each day passes, I write of the stories we collect along the way. Always learning, always growing, because life is so very full of lessons, and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. With all the love, Serena.